Recall that the felony murder rule applies where a death occurs within the course of the predicate felony. Time-wise, the rule encompasses deaths that occur during the attempted commission of the felony, during the actual commission of the felony, and after commission of the felony. For deaths that occur after the felony is committed, courts differ as to how much time can pass and still come within the scope of the rule. Clearly, the death needs to happen within a reasonable time, typically while the defendant is in flight before reaching a safe haven. As with other types of crimes, felony murder likewise requires a causal connection between the defendant's act and the victim's harm. Different jurisdictions take different approaches to causation in the context of felony murder. For instance, imagine that three co-felons are robbing a bank. If one of the three kills an innocent bank patron, are the others responsible? What if a bank security guard shoots at one of the felons and accidentally kills the bank patron instead? Would it make a difference if the bank patron were being used as a shield by one of the felons? And what if the security guard kills one of the felons? Under which of these circumstances does the felony murder rule apply?